Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, 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 we're going to talk about hell. Yes, I said it, H-E, double hockey stick. It is the place that none of us want to go. And, um, yeah, I have hope that all of you guys with me will not be going there. Because of this right here, Revelations 20, verse 15, it says, Whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And this right here has to be the most important goal of your life. To make sure that this does not happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we have to make sure that our names are written in the book of life which we can only do through christ and which we can only do through faith in him and we have to trust that it's done it's accomplished but we know it because we've been born again and we have this testimony within ourselves it's like we're not of this world you know what i mean like we're, we're strangers we're living as strangers in, in, a, in a foreign land and we know that we don't belong here and when this is not our home and we don't feel comfortable here and we're constantly groaning longing to be with our lord jesus and and longing to to be freed from this body of death and and not really living in pleasure and sin and, and just doing what we want to do but living for the lord um and how can we make sure that our name is written in the lamb's book of life well, I think that we just said that, right? That we can make sure by putting our faith in Jesus. But not just putting our faith in him. Because it says faith without works is dead. So let's make sure that we put our faith in Jesus. But also do what Jesus said. Jesus said that a person who takes his words and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house upon the rock. And when the winds and the storm came and they blew, that house stood. But the foolish person hears his words and doesn't do what he says. So make sure you know what Jesus says. Read the Gospels. Read the Bible. Read the Word from Genesis to Revelation over and over and over again until you're convinced that your name is in the book of life. And even when you're convinced of that, that should drive you to go even harder for those whose name is not found. For those people who you will see that are your neighbors, that are your friends, that are all the people in your life, that you might have to watch them sit there and their name not be found. But you never told them the truth. You never told them about Jesus. You never warned them about this lake of fire that was their destiny. If they did not turn to God and repent of their sins and receive forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ. So let's remember this. We have to be reminded about hell sometimes. You know, I think we forget about hell, but it's a serious place. And it's going to be a seriously somber day of judgment. And even if we escape that judgment, we're still will be ashamed of the people we have to watch condemned because of our um, unwillingness to challenge them and to challenge their sinful lives and to challenge their um, behavior and to challenge what they believe. So let's not shrink back. Let's be bold because it would be better to make a fool out of ourselves right now and offend somebody than to have to watch them be thrown in a lake of fire. Amen.